This is Soundcheck. I'm John Schaefer. Danielle Denise joins us today. Welcome. Thank you, Don. How are you? You're playing Susanna yes. in The Marriage of Figaro. Everybody wants a piece of Susanna. Oh, I love that right. <laughs> so excited to play it at the Met. So, you want to look the part, right? I mean, sure. that's important. Is that important? Obviously, vocally is the first mm -hmm. requirement. But when you get to do Susanna at the Met, you probably have the vocal requirements if you got that far, if you get to sing in a great opera house like the Metropolitan Opera. So, um, in terms of sort of whether you need to look the part, I think if you can convince people that you are the part, it shouldn't matter what you look like. In terms of uh, attracting a wider audience, the people who might not normally find themselves sitting in the, uh, you know, the, the upper ring there at the Met, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does help. Definitely young, glamorous um, aspects can help, mm -hmm. but of course you have to have the personality, because if you could, you could be really gorgeous, um, but if you're a complete airhead or you don't, you don't have anything to say about music, you don't have anything to give on the stage, you would just stand there like a... Uh, you know, I don't know, just like a statue uh, singing, and, and looks wouldn't help then. I think it's about your personality and it's about your temperament as an artist. I am a weapon of massive consumption, and it's not my fault, it's how I'm programmed to function. I look at the sun and I look in the mirror, I'm on the right track, yeah, we're on to win. I don't know what's right and what's here anymore. Hi. Peter Gelvin Ellen Pack asks whether I will go on Monday night and be interviewed for their live simulcast. They said they know it's the day before my opening. You do have to come into town. Yeah. Look, if I'm just coming in for that four minutes. I mean, it's, it's, it's the slightest bit rich. Alec Troyhoff is the perfect manager for me. I mean, honestly, he he's very no frills, which is what I love about it. I have Danny Denise in my office and we're talking about the simulcast stuff on Monday night. Is there anybody else in your office who's coordinating that? He's very cautious. He has no aims to wear me out or to turn me into like a money-making machine because he wants longevity for me as much as I want it for myself. Look, I, I'll leave this to you if it's going to take your mind off of opening night jitters, I can yes. understand it, but it, it's a little much to ask, I think, frankly. Hey, Alex, do you have dog pictures? Oh He's got God. super eyelashes. Those are, those are his eyelashes. Uh, that's, that's kind of ridiculous. Totally cool. This is the pressure that I'm feeling from X, Y, and Z person, and... Are you... Ready for me to have that conversation? But then you have to stick with me. Of course I will. Yeah. Well, they have something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You can't put any of this on tape. She's a wonderful, lovely, lovely lady, and we're really glad that you get a chance to meet personally Ms. Danielle Denise. Having been singing already at eight, nine years of age, I love to spread the idea that you're never too young to begin. Did you guys enjoy the show? Yeah! Okay. Good. Good. I know that, that, that you did the show before and you were uh, Barbarella, right? Barbarina, yeah. Barbarina, sorry. That's okay. Um, was it hard to like come back now and do a different character, knowing that before you were you were um, Barbarina? I used to watch the production in rehearsal while I was singing Barbarina and dream about when would I ever have the opportunity one day to come and sing Susanna here. It, if I did have the opportunity, it would be a dream come true. So literally, you guys are the first to see me living that dream out. Uh, hi, my name is Joseph. Hi. Um, I want to know as like you were growing up singing and stuff, did you have any idols or did anybody inspire you to sing even more? Yeah, I had a lot of idols, but the two that just popped into my head right now, um, two very different idols. So the first one was a very famous singer named Dame Kiri Tekanoa. Yeah.
I grew up in Australia for the first 10 years of my life. Dame Kiri was from New Zealand. And as an eight, nine-year-old in Australia, I watched Dame Kiri and I thought, here's a person who's doing what I want to do. She's of a mixed background, like me. She's from the Southern Hemisphere, like me. So if she can sing and she can have a great career, then maybe I can too. And then another person is very much on the other side of the spectrum. And um, I used to love Whitney Houston when I was a kid. She was a huge star when I was a kid as well, so I used to watch her and sort of dream about being successful. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, I just wanted to say, I brought a box of CDs that I wanted to give you guys. Yeah. Well, they were so enthusiastic and they were all clamoring for my autograph and then they were all clamoring for my AOL instant messenger name. Now does not tell you something about the times. It's great. So I actually gave away my AOL instant messenger name to a few kids. I wonder if they're gonna come and find me. I've always felt that sort of connecting with the audience is that extra thing that they need to feel like they know somebody and then they can, you know, feel more comfortable coming back, so. Certainly without, you know, the, uh, a new audience uh, being developed, we will be lost. And that's, you know, basically yeah. what I'm trying to do in general here at the yeah. Met. You know, we're sort of trying to make opera more available locally and globally. Uh, you know, we are live high-definition transmissions into movie theaters. You know, this year are going to be seen on live in 1,000 screens every time, every time we do one of these. That's no, exciting. But I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh, but I'm very aware also that it's only as good as the performers. Hello, I'm Peter Gell, General Manager of the Metropolitan Opera. Thank you for joining us for the opening night of our new season. Tonight's performance marks the premiere of Luke Bondi's new production of Puccini's Tosca. I'm with Danielle Denise and Susanna Phillips, rising young sopranos who are in two Mozart operas at the Met this week. For both of you, what do you think it takes to be an opera singer, Danielle? The requirements that have always been there for opera singers are the same as they are today. I think it takes focus and dedication, passion, and a lot of hearts, and I think we carry that all the time.